Hi, this is Jeff Challen. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to get set up in case you need to work on one of the AWS workstations that are located in the basement of Siebel and in other places around campus. So um, I hope that many of you have personal computers that you can use to complete the MPs for this class because that's going to be the development environment that I think that's going to lead you to the most success. But if your laptop breaks or if for some other reason you find yourself needing to use one of the AWS machines temporarily, this will give you a sense of, of how to at least get started. Okay, so the, the way to install um, Git happily, um, oops, let me, uh, let's see here. I have this in my path somewhere. There we go, okay. So Git happily is already installed on um, the AWS machines, so you're not gonna need that. And there is also a version of Java. So the version of Java that's installed on the AWS machines is different than the one that we're using in the class. Um, it's both the 1.8 version or Java 8, and it's also a open JDK. So this is an open source software project that has uh, for years attempted to reproduce the proprietary Sun, now Oracle, Java software development environment. Um, there are differences between the OpenJDK and um, the Sun uh, JDK. I hope that they won't be things that will end up being a problem for you, but for now I would suggest that you just use the version of Java that's already installed on these machines. You can install the official Sun Java by downloading it from their website, but I'm not gonna cover that in this screencast. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to, um, the EWS staff maintain things in this module system. So um, I think if you type this command, module avail, this will show you a bunch of different software packages that you can load and use. And one of them, as you can see, happily, is a version of IntelliJ. And it's a version of IntelliJ that's a couple years, well, a couple years old at this point, uh, but it will do the job. So let's install that. I think it's this command. And then you wanna cut and paste the IntelliJ uh, command here. And once that's done, I should have a command that I can run in my path that's called idea.sh. And here's the magic thing uh, that you want to type to get that to start. So when you fire up IntelliJ or IDEA and the EWS machines, it's normal for it to take a minute to load. Um, these aren't the world's fastest machines. Okay, there it goes. So now I can see at least see the splash screen. I know it's loading. Uh, let me see if I can shut this down. Nope, can't do that. Okay, so let's... So if you want to be able to close your terminal, you can do this. Now I should be able to, oh, okay. I'm just gonna, oh, now I guess it has removed that from my path, which is too bad. So now let's try it again. Okay, so module add, the name of the IntelliJ module, and then um, I'm just gonna minimize this while this is running. I'm sure there's a way to get this set up that's a little bit more elegant, and I would ex encourage you to explore, explore things like figuring out a way to set up a keyboard shortcut on your desktop or something like that. Um, so once you have IntelliJ running, um, you are you know, in a position where you're essentially working on the MP in the same way that you would be normally. However, I do want to show you how to configure Java since when you start this up, I've already done this once and so these are my previous settings. Um, but like some people have had to do for Windows and other machines, you do need to set up your project SDK. So when you start up for the first time, this is going to be listed as invalid. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to new, we're going to hit JDK. The JDK in this machine is located in user slash lib slash JB, JBM. And then there's a number of different choices here. Whoa, hello. Uh, that you can choose from. So I think I picked the latest version of this JDK, JDK 1.8, OpenJDK 1.8.0.161. Um, 
So I've already set that up. Once you do that, everything else should work normally. So, you know, I'm here, I'm uh, working on the starter code from MP0, I can run the, um, the grader, I was able to clone this from GitHub, um, everything else just sort of works. So, um, so that's good. There seem to be some extra error messages here uh, created by IntelliJ. Um, there's you know some errors about the file system being slow and stuff like that. Um, it looks like I can update IntelliJ, which might be a good thing to do. Although I don't know if these updates will persist after you log out. Um, so okay, so this is so this is sort of you know an idea of how to do this. The other thing I'm not sure about is the check style plugin. So. I think you can install plugins the same way you would uh, normally. Um, if I go to settings, um, plugins, and then install plugin from disk. So I would download the check style plugin following the instructions that we had give you, given you previously, and then I would install this. Again, I just don't know if these changes persist across um, across sort of updates and, and reboots, but um, so, so anyway, so that's the, the quick way to get IntelliJ um, off and running on the EWS machines.